Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we're gonna model a clock and actually prototype through laser cut and construct it together. So I will show you all my process of getting the things from the computer model to actually prototype. Let's get started. First of all, you need to get your parts. I bought mine on the Amazon. I just uh, type it clock parts and then so you come in all different kind what I'm looking at here is the hands well what is our hands and the uh, minutes hand and if you want to have a second hands so the mechanism in the back is pretty much the same it's just you want to pick up the hand that you like the one that I got is this one is a 30 mini 31 millimeter long um, shelf and I didn't know like how much of the material that I want to start with so I bought this one but it ended up a little bit too long so you probably want to have your design ready and then get your part from the Amazon or uh, other places that you can get local or online once you have the part and I will suggest you actually to um, model the part so what we wanted to do is measure overall the box and also the hand length so when you do the design this way Will be the guideline and most importantly we need to measure the diameter of the shift there and so we know that how big of a hole we need to punch on our design so this once you are model they don't have to be super uh, elaborated it's just for us to do the model to build something on that so once you have it you will just lock it and then to do our design first of all we're gonna draw a circle and then we will know like how big is the hole that we need to cut out I'm starting with the oval command and I'm gonna start at something right here for my first one. So I'm going to use the command that's called polar array. In the center, just type it zero, and I need eight of them doing 360 degree, and I got something like that. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to make it something a little bit bigger by copy this one first, make it a little bit bigger, and let's move it out a little bit and also rotate it. 22.5 so they were located right in the middle and if you like the location let's go ahead to do the polar array one more time and we want to do eight of them as well so after you have done that we are going to move one out a little bit making a copy so it's kind of repetition form So what we are going to do with this is I want them to be twist a little bit. The command is called Maelstrom. And then what it does is we can set it up the center and then tell it that how, where do you want it to start to twist. So I want to twist in between here so I can do something like this. Okay, and depends on the, let me do one more time, depends on the area you set it up. Let's say if I set it up in between here and all the way here, so most of the thing within this uh, area will twist. So that's how I get this form. And then you're just creating the outline after that. So once I finish what I like, and I just need to copy into the smaller or bigger to get three different size. And I wanted to have my clock as 12 by 12. So this is the line that we are ready to send it for the laser cut. Let's take a look on the laser cut process. Okay, after laser cut, but we will need to spray paint. You might need to have several coats on that. And this is the entire package that we're going to put it together. If you model it correct, uh, the hole and everything is really accurate, then you shouldn't have problem assemblage and then they should come out really well. So follow the instruction that you have a washer, uh, tie it up, you might need to get a wrench to tie it up. So you put the hour hand first and then you put the mini hands, some of it coming into the third hand. So this is the prototype process for this laser cut clock. I hope you enjoy. Please like and comment and let me know uh, what other things you would like to see. I'll try to do my best to make the video. Thank you and I'll see you next.